Good morning and Jai Hind, my dear students. Welcome you all to the English period. Hope you all are ready to have some fun and at the same time some uh, wonderful learning session too. So children, before I start our today's class, let's have some good interaction today. So when children in the morning you get up, so do you exercise in the morning? Do you first thing? Ah, yes, I missed out one thing. That do you get up early in the morning or not? Or as because you all are at home today or nowadays, so you are getting up late. But then you should not be doing it. If you are doing so, please change your habit. Because you need to get up early in the morning and go to early bed at night this habit the good habit should not be changed and the bad habits definitely should be changed so when you get up in the morning beta you should definitely after brushing your teeth properly you should give 15 to 20 minutes for yourself to exercise yes at your age also it is must it is recommended to have exercise because when you exercise when you go for a walk when you do some pranayam yoga or any warm-up exercise or stretching exercise what happens with that is throughout the day we are active yes you can see that one day when you uh, exercised well and the other day when you did not exercise you will see the difference between these two days the day when you exercise you will see that that day you were very active and you did not felt sleepy you were throughout happy like throughout the day you were enjoying it but the day when you did not um, uh, exercise at all that day you will feel very lazy very lethargic sleepy unhappy right so somewhere exercise not only keeps us physically fit but mentally emotionally it keeps us in balance so it's must it's recommended i will recommend you all to at least have 15 to 20 minutes of exercise daily right now after that definitely you should take bath in the morning and then you must start with the class so before 8 a.m. your classes start from 8 a.m. sharp so before 8 a.m. you should do be able to do all these things right at morning 6 o'clock you should get up then after brushing your teeth after going for a washroom then you should exercise for 15 to 20 minutes after exercising you can have some water just relax chill for 10 minutes to 15 minutes and then please go for a bath take a good bath use soap and apply soap everywhere on the body so that whatever dirts and germs were there on the body it can get cleaned rinse it off thoroughly with water right and then use towel to pat yourself dry and then you must wear clean cloths uh, washed cloths every day please do not use the same old cloth uh, to wear after bath you must wear a neat and clean washed cloth because nowadays children you can see that we are uh, everywhere everywhere people are saying that if we want to keep ourselves hygienically clean and if you want to stay healthy so these all parameters are equally important um, in uh, which we generally avoid which we do not take care of but these small small things beta also matters a lot and if you follow these simple steps you will see that uh, you can keep yourself healthy in a very short time in a very short way in a very short manner in fact one more um, uh, uh, you say a mantra i would like to share with you all that is that uh, um, you are using mobile phones nowadays to study 
right because you cannot go to school we also can't come we cannot go outside so nowadays mobile or your computer is the medium of uh, attending the class so gadgets children i must tell you the gadgets has lot of virus it can it is a big contamination area that you can see so gadgets needs to be clean every day right you need to clean it every single day but you don't do it by cleaning i don't mean that you have to pour water on it and then clean it if you do so then your mobile is not going to work so please don't do it okay ask your mama or papa to sanitize it okay and after attending the class beta as you have used mobile phone so after attending the class you must wash your hands properly with soap and water and then after that you can have anything any food item you want to eat do not eat anything without washing your hand so hope children you have understood these simple simple facts and definitely if you apply this these things are going to work for you ask your parents ask your elders to to even apply these things right these simple simple steps are for everyone not only for you for everyone right so now children let's get back to our today's topic well yesterday children i taught you a beautiful poem on grandmas so yesterday we dedicated the entire period to our grandmothers because they deserve it our grandparents because they need our love and care and a special day at least we can dedicate them right out of their love so children hope that you have completed your homework too that was given to you for in that poem so um yes so children in the meanwhile when i am going to share my screen with you please be ready with your notebook yes please be ready with your english notebook pencil eraser sharpener scale and if you are having pencil colors pencil colors too so how many things you need to have your english notebook pencil eraser scale sharpener and the pencil colors so till then in the meanwhile when till the time you erase these things i am going to now share the screen with you all okay so just give me few seconds and here we go so today children we are going to do the notebook work okay so hope that everybody is now ready with their notebooks okay i'm giving you some time but uh, please arrange your english notebook and all the necessary items that are required for writing well before you start doing any work in your english notebook let me again remind you beta that the work that you are going to do your handwriting shows how you are right so if you write very in a poor manner then it will show that you are not disciplined and the one who writes in a beautiful handwriting it shows that how disciplined the child is so i will insist all of you that try to write as beautiful as you are you all are so beautiful so lovely so nice right so i also want that the way you look so beautiful your handwriting should also look the same like you so i hope now you all are ready with your english notebooks so let's start first okay so now the first thing that you are supposed to do is to fill your index page 
whenever we start a work in our notebook always we start by filling the index page so here in my computer screen you all can see the index page somewhere you will find the same is in your notebook the first page of the index or of your notebook you will see that the index is written and somewhere you will see these columns are there like there is the first column is of a serial number then the date then title page number teacher sign or remark somewhat like this maybe few things here and there you will find in that instead of title it will be written a heading or uh, maybe there's no page number in some of the notebook okay but don't get panic if you do not have all these columns it's okay just you have to majorly write the serial number date and the topic that you are going to do okay so today now first thing that you are supposed to do is beta as we have already completed our periodic test twos course and we are proceeding towards the half yearly course right so the first thing that you have to do is after periodic test two whatever you have done in periodic test two down now please write like this half yearly first you write down half yearly in one of the column just the way i have written can you see this half yearly please write down this heading half yearly so from here you will understand that from as you have written half yearly so from now onwards whatever index we are going to write here these all the topics are included in your half yearly course so please write down half yearly okay now after writing down half yearly now move to the next column next row now here in the first column you will write down serial number 1 yes because now in the half yearly portion we are starting with the first topic that is poem what are grandmas for so write down serial number 1 and then in the column of date write down today's date that is 8 7 2020 okay write down the date and here in the title write down the topic poem what are grandmas for please check the spellings while writing beta okay fill the index first write it nicely neatly beta make sure your handwriting is up to the mark okay so are you all done have you all filled your index page Should, do you need few more seconds wait i will give you 10 more seconds to fill the index page okay so by now i hope that everybody has now filled the index page now let's start our work from a notebook okay because your notebook is divided into two portions right first portion is of a part a copy right we say it as a a notebook because <clears throat> the literature portion or the magic lantern book exercises we do it in the a notebook and the second portion of your notebook has the grammar portion okay so in the second part we do grammar and in the first part we do literature so today we are going to start our work from the a notebook so please start your open now your a notebook Are you all ready? Great. Now, after opening the page, 
the first thing that you have to write is in one of the page please write down first at the top write down h w what you will write h w homework and the date that is 8.7.20 at the top you all know where to write date and homework it was taught to you right so just write down homework and date at the top of the page now after writing down the date and homework in the first line of your notebook in the first line of the page beta in the first line just write down this homework okay what you have to write draw or paste the picture of your grandmother so what is your today's homework your today's homework is to draw or paste the picture of your grandmother your grandmother either you can draw the picture of your dadi or your nani or even if you have her photograph you can cut and paste it here in the page okay by applying glue on the photo and you can just stick it on this page okay in your notebook not this page i am talking about in your notebook where you have written this homework so please write it fast beta done everyone so now come to the next page now please turn the notebook please turn it to the next page turn it to the next page and now here you please write down the date and class work yes now in this page you will write down class work because right now we are going to write down the poem please first write down date and cw class work and then only you should start doing your work so after writing date and class work in the first line beta in the first line again i am repeating in the first line put a heading write down the heading like this poem colon what are grandmas for question mark how you will write it down poem colon what are grandmas for question mark and underline it with a color pencil you may choose any color to underline the heading okay well just be ready with these three things date class work and the heading done now children so after writing down the heading now from the next line start writing the poem here it is i am first sharing first two line of the poem so write down like this grandmas are for stories about things of long ago okay now listen to me very carefully first before starting to write yes don't start writing just listen to me very carefully first beta okay see here grandmas are for stories this has to be in the first line do not if for an example this grandmas are for if you have completed till here and there is no space left in your notebook so stories you can write it down here in the second line but this line that is about things of long ago you will write from the third line okay so write it down the same as i have written here 
in the first line you have to write grandmas are for stories and then in the second line you have to write about things of long ago and then you have to put a full stop do not put a full stop here in the first line the full stop will be in the second line after writing down the first two lines here i am sharing now the third and fourth line grandmas are for caring about all the things you know so the same way you will write down the third line grandmas are for caring please write it little small so that the line can get adjusted the words can get adjusted in this that same single line itself okay and then the fourth line is about all the things you know it's okay if this fourth line doesn't get adjusted in the same line then you can come to the next line and can uh, continue with the line in the next one okay So first complete all these four lines beta Take care of your uh, spellings do not make spelling mistakes beta make sure that you are writing very neatly okay now i am sharing you another two lines that is grandmas are for rocking you and singing you to sleep grandmas are for rocking you and singing you to sleep please check that where are the full stops do not give full stops on your own you see that where are the full stops and then put the full stops accordingly and at the same time you can see that only the grandmas g r capital rest all are in starting with small letter done now your more two lines grandmas are for giving you nice memories to keep done No, it's okay. Take your time. We have to make sure that you do not make spelling mistake while doing your work. You should be very attentive and alert. That's why I am also not talking much in between because I don't want to disturb you.
okay now i am sharing two more sentences of this poem grandmas are for knowing all the things you are dreaming of doing it beta everyone it's okay if you have made some mistakes spelling error please use your eraser to rub it properly and then you can start writing again but make sure while rubbing while erasing it you just handle the page handle your notebook very carefully do not tear the page well now i am going to share the last two sentences but most important of all grandmas are for love So here the poem is over. So now you have to write the same in your notebook. It's not necessary that your that in one page itself uh, you have to write this entire poem. It's okay if you jump to the next page. If it doesn't get adjusted in one page, you can use second page to continue the poem. to complete it okay so complete it fast beta everybody is doing it yes i know you all are very good boys and girls you all are doing your work so sincerely i'm really very impressed to see that how nicely you all are doing your work i can feel that though i can't see you but i know that my children they obey me they follow my instructions so i know that you all are doing your work properly and sincerely now class everybody has done Have you all written it? Okay. Now, children, the same PDF that you have done right now today as a class work, I'm going to share the same in your WhatsApp group too, so that you can take a reference from this PDF. If you have any confusions, any doubts, or if anybody has yet not completed the work, you can definitely refer to this PDF. This will help you out. Okay, and if you have already completed it, though I know that most of you have completed it, 99% all the children have completed it. If if anyone one percent is left, 
you can do it and if 99% children if you have done so do not get over excited about it beta the pdf which i am going to share you in your whatsapp group once again just check and see that you haven't made any mistake in your notebook while checking you can see that you have made some mistake so you can rectify it okay so children i hope that by now you all have completed your work right and if anybody has missed it out not an issue i am sharing the pdf in your whatsapp group please complete your work okay and yes but then those who could not complete it it's my request to every one of you that you have to improve your writing speed and how you can do that by practicing everything is possible if we practice it okay so beta please keep practicing as much as you will write you will see your handwriting speed as well as your uh, handwriting textures both are getting improved right so now it's time to end the session i have to say bye to you all because tomorrow again i am going to say hello to you all so till then the today's homework yes i missed it now i remember it okay so before i end the session let me just remind you that today's homework is to draw or paste the picture of your grandmother and do not forget to learn the poem so we are going to meet again tomorrow again we will have some interaction as this at the same time we will complete the notebook exercises too okay so now time to say bye we are going to meet tomorrow take care